On the main stage in the Idaho House today, and really the only business done on the House floor, debate and a vote on a proposed law that would ban for people under the age of 18 the use of puberty blockers, cross-sex hormones, and sex reassignment surgeries when administered to children struggling with gender dysphoria. House Bill 71, it passed on essentially party lines, 58 to 12, with only one Republican voting no, all Republican, uh, Democrats voting no. But the debate highlighted the delicate nature of the discussion surrounding the bill and the topic, as we've discussed at length here on the 208. Now, the debate also came down to a real specific point for some lawmakers. The point was made by Democrats and Republicans that people under the age of 18 should probably wait to get gender assignment surgeries until they are 18. That surgery aspect, to be clear for you, is a final step in that type of care. And ahead of that surgery, something not all people who are trans even get, there is hormone treatments and therapy in a long road through that whole process. But that process does include puberty blockers. Democrat lawmakers argue that banning those treatments, which the bill does, goes too far. The line was drawn to parental choice and family decision making, something the Idaho legislature goes to great lengths to protect, as we've heard. Now, the debate included personal stories from lawmakers about their experience researching the issue and talking with people that have gone through gender treatments. That includes Representative Lori McCann of Lewiston, who said she stood conflicted. McCann mentioned that the Republican platform of parental rights and control over their kids. And she talked about how if one of her four kids or 11 grandkids faced the situation, she would, quote, fight like all to get out, to get them the treatment they need. And in fact, it has touched her family. So are we closing that door and saying sorry Again, we're the legislature and we know better. And that is troubling. Um, I, I lost, I've lost a lot of sleep over this bill. I've wrestled with it. I've, I've talked with professionals. I've talked with uh, medical folks, um, parents. I've talked with actual transgender people. And, and I want them to know that I care, I feel for them, and it is real. It is something that is real that we all need to, to, under, to try to understand. It's difficult. When the situation happened in our own family, my first reaction is, oh, you've got to be kidding me. This can't be happening. How, how does one get married and then want to become a man and you're a female? It's like I, I had a hard time wrapping my head around this. But it affects me, it affects their lives, it affects my grandson and his partner, his wife. And, but, I, but I love them dearly and will do anything I can to make life easier for them to get through day to day. And Brian, after nine minutes of personal testimony, Representative McCann voted for the bill because she agrees that surgeries, it might be too much for transgender minors. She did mention, though, that she wasn't completely sold on the idea that puberty blockers could disfigure or harm people taking them for treatment. Just one anecdote on the floor as the bill will now head to the Idaho Senate for consideration there. One question I would ask of Representative McCain is how she would face her grandson now after making this vote after all that. But I would point out the one no vote from Republican side came from Representative Matt Bundy, who said, I want to ensure these kids and their families Families have access to the counseling services they need and deserve. I thought the provision of this bill were not strong enough to guarantee that type of access. That is Representative Matt Bundy from Mountain Home, who voted no as a Republican.